I'm Dick Niffing. And I'm Diane Anderson with your overnight KRQE.com webcast. First, here's Mark Ronchetti with the weather. We are looking at continued chances of showers in central and western sections throughout the day on Friday. The real focus will shift to the northwest throughout the day, but here in Albuquerque, we could definitely see a scattered shower. And as we push throughout the weekend, we'll see increasing chances of rain across eastern New Mexico. State medical investigators believe they have identified three children whose skeletal remains were in the submerged car divers found in Cochiti Lake last week. Week. OMI says it has presumptively identified 12 year old Richard Sanchez Jr., 9 year old Daniel Sanchez, and 2 year old Christopher Sanchez. Their father, Richard Sr., abducted them during a custody visit in 2001. The ID is presumptive because there are no DNA or dental records on the children, but there are compelling clues. So, based on the missing persons report, we know that they were supposed to be in this vehicle and they match the age, sex, height per anthropology and odontology exam. And our best guess is that yes, this is them. OMI hopes to track down Richard Sanchez's dental records to positively identify the adult skeleton in the car as his. A bill to protect tacos is flying through Congress. The House Thursday overwhelmingly passed the National Defense Authorization Act, the big Pentagon spending bill. It includes language by Congressman Martin Heinrich of Albuquerque that bans the Air Force from retiring the New Mexico Air Guard's F-16 fighter wing, the tacos, until the Pentagon comes up with a new mission for the jet jockeys. That same bill authorizes more than $67 million in construction at Cannon Air Force Base in Clovis. Join Mike Powers, Deanna Saucet, and Mike Hernandez for all your overnight news developments. Begins at 5 on KRQE News 13 this morning.